meiner Instandard. Hello everyone. Welcome back to this week's vlog. And I just want to thank everyone who subscribed to our channel. Um, this week we managed to reach the grand total of 2,000 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're quite shocked actually. We were shocked at 1,000 and to get 2,000 yeah. is quite amazing. Yeah. And we got to it on my birthday. So thank you ever so much for everyone who subscribed. I'm going to be running the pie work to install the oven and hob. Using Wago connectors for this because I need a feed in from the power from the 12 volt and then I'm going to use the other two connections for one to go up to the hop the hob and then the other one to go to the oven for the power for both the hob and the oven so I'm just using these and putting ferrules on there so they're going to sit behind the back of the oven high level there so I need to cut two pieces of wire now to go into those this is definitely not a tutorial on how to do this this is just how we've done it yeah we just want to show you the process of what what is what involved, involved really yeah. and how we how we did it Run 2.5 mil cable from the electric cupboard through to the oven housing, um, and that's going to feed the ignition for the hob, and the ignition for the oven, and the little fan that runs inside the oven. Um, I've pulled them through from the electric cupboard so they can work from above, but uh, in a minute I pull all the excess through, so those cables you can see me doing there end up shorter and back to more towards the back of the cupboard. Right then, we'll get the hot plate rigged up, shall we? Do you need to put some of that butyl tape around that, the collar of the conduit, just to stop the uh, yeah. wires rubbing on that conduit. It's yeah. quite sharp. Yeah, that's a good idea. Good idea, Nanny. Right, so that's on there. What's the gas connection? I'll put the gas connection. Right, I'm going to make, put this on here now, it's easier. Um, 
one less connection to do down below in that. And these are the copper square shouldered ones for LPG on it. Should we put it in? Yeah. Can't wait. Don't know. Lovely. This is um, 3 8 copper, like a uh, thick walled piping. Now I'm using this uh, like mini bender to do this and um, the one I used to use, I haven't got any more, so I looked on the internet and, and I looked around and I thought, oh that looks a nice pipe bender. And now I've bought it, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like the pain in the butt. It is, it's like the <laughs> Krypton factor trying to do it. The reason for it, it's got like a spring clip that you have to clip over the pipe to hold it in place, whereas my other one was like a rigid thing. So it's a bit of a real faff really, to be fair. But anyway, I persevered as you can see and um, managed to managed to do what I needed to do with it. But if I was buying one, I wouldn't I wouldn't buy this. It looks it looks swish, but it isn't to be fair. But anyway, moving on from that. Um, what else can I tell you? I've, I've just done all this in one series of bends because obviously the less fittings the better. Um, and I've just coming from the gas cupboard, which is the next to the other housing, um, from where the isolation valve is. Um, there's like a 90 bend that I'm, I'm bending just there. And I bend it a little bit further into the oven housing so that I can put like what they call a double set into the pipe, which will then save the bed it doesn't make the bend too tight coming round the cupboard and then sets the pipe back to the side wall of the cupboard so it can be clipped so yeah it just like just makes less strain on the pipes and it's just a case of just uh keep measuring and measuring again really and just remembering which way you've bent it and which way to not to bend you know what i mean because otherwise you can end up thinking oh yeah and once it's bent it's done so uh yeah, you just have to keep reassuring yourself that you're bending it in the right direction, really. And just remember that... Um, I am actually a sort of retired gas engineer, so I do sort of class myself as being a competent person. Competent? Yeah, competent. Yeah. Do you mean incontinent? No, incontinent. Yeah, I'm that as well. <laughs> I have been done that a few times, more recently than 
<laughs> the older I get, but yeah. So yeah, I am, I am trained in 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 gas. But uh, please uh, don't do this if you are not at all confident or competent, if I really want to describe it, um, in doing gas. It's not worth the risk. So just get somebody in who's uh, who you trust and is and is registered to do the work for you, basically. You've seen plenty of. I've seen lots of accidents and. I haven't caused many, but yeah, but <laughs> I've seen a lot of yeah, sort of bad stuff happen with gas over the over the years, and it, it is. But joking apart, you cannot be too careful with it. So, please, for the sake of a few quid, get somebody in who, who knows what they're doing. Tighten out fully in a minute. Now the gas is connected to the uh, isolation valve in the adjacent cupboard. All that's left for me to do now is to just get this pipe uh, that's already bent and do the final connection underneath the hob. All the LPG compression fittings that I've been using are all LPG compliant and they will come with um, the copper like square shouldered olives supplied with them and I got these from uh, Midland Chandler's and also a company that I used to use uh, I've started using them again for this called BES so now that's connected to there we can put a clip into here now and clip that all the way along there so it's not moving about and then this one here is going to connect into the back of the oven in a bit and then easy bits for the oven electrics. Once all the cables were complete, um, Aidy's put some uh, butyl tape around the top of the conduit that we the wires are fed through. Um, it's really got a sharp edge. We really, if we thought about it, we could have like melted that edge. Do you think, or yeah, possibly, yeah, yeah. Okay. or just done something to sort of soften like it. soften it up before yeah. we threaded wires through it? Because yeah. we're just worried about the the chafing on the um, on the wires if there's any vibration in the I boat. I think doing this is going to cushion it now though, and stop all that. I'm yeah. quite confident with that. Yeah.
Is that the same using them olives and stuff? Is it all the same thing? Yeah. Is it a different thing? Same thing. Nice clean oven. I'm always going to keep that clean. Yeah. A spotlessly clean oven. I just won't use it. Mm. What I'm doing here is I'm just connecting the uh, cables that have been con already connected to the oven and the hob to that uh, little temporary battery we've got rigged up. It isn't obviously a permanent thing, it's just so that we can get it tested that the ignition's working on the oven and the hob. I've also fitted a fuse close to the, where the uh, cables leave the battery.
Oh, great. Lovely. The oven's works, yeah. Great. Can we put a new kettle on now then? Yeah. Cup of tea with a new kettle. <laughs> <laughs> she's happy now because she's been waiting for this for about 18 months. <laughs> These are really slippy. Yeah, they are, aren't they? So. I don't know, is there anything that you can put on them like to grip? You can't get like little. I don't know. What I know. You, I know you can't obviously rubber bands, but you know, but similar, <laughs> but a similar sort of thing. Like I don't know, little cast iron grommets or something. I've no idea unless anybody out there has got any ideas. I don't really don't know. Mm. It must be a. It is slippery. Just. No. I think that's because it's enamel, and they're not like a rough cast iron or anything. They're like. A, no. I don't know, I really don't know on that one. But they are a bit on way level at the moment, so yeah. if you've got a boiling kettle would, of water. I wouldn't like to leave it on no, in case we got knocked or you was at a slant or something. Yeah. We'll have to hold it all the time. <laughs> um I don't we'll know. see. Yeah. Once water's in it and stuff. They're heavy anyway, but yeah. Hmm. Anyway, anyone got any ideas? Let us know. Right, that's it then for today. We've got a bit of a party weekend going on. There's lots of birthdays going on. Yes, we know. <laughs> Not just the twins, somebody else has got a birthday <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. Closer to pension age. Right. Ta-ra. See you all next week, hopefully. Ta-ra. Oh.